A NEW WILDFIRE BURNS IN NORTHERN CALIFORNIA TONIGHT, AND THIS IS A BIG ONE. THE FAST-MOVING FIRE HAS ALREADY BURNED MORE THAN 4,000 ACRES IN NEVADA COUNTY. IT STARTED AROUND 2.30 THIS AFTERNOON NEAR THE COMMUNITY OF GOLD RUN AND QUICKLY EXPLODED IN SIZE. IN CASE YOU'RE THREE, TOM MILLER HAS BEEN COVERING THIS FIRE FROM THE BEGINNING. HE JOINS US LIVE FROM YOU BET. AND TOM, THE FIRE FIGHT CONTINUES TONIGHT. Kathy, with a fire this big in an area with homes dotted throughout the forest, what's so remarkable tonight is that no structures have been lost. Tonight, many firefighters are stationed at homes in this canyon behind me, and they're being credited with keeping them standing. It's an explosive blaze fueled by a bone dry forest desperate for water. The Lowell Fire grew to 4,000 acres in just a matter of hours, leaving firefighters struggling to keep up and residents scrambling to evacuate. We packed, and the next thing we knew, they were down there telling us, get out now. Grabbing just a few precious keepsakes, photo albums, pictures, personal belongings, the McMellons headed to safety. Their property now looks like the set of a science fiction movie. The car, a statue, even a satellite dish covered in pink retardant. The drops happened without a moment to spare. The aircraft actually made a good stop here, bought us enough time to get in here, get our lines deployed, and put the littler fires out. To give you an idea of just how close this fire got to homes, flames are right here, and just up here is a cluster of three or four homes. Sprinklers did what they could to neutralize rogue embers. The blaze started just after 2:30 Saturday off Chicago Powerhouse Road and Lowell Hill Road near Grass Valley. It's burning in a rural area with limited access. Planes provided the initial attack overhead while firefighters raced to get in. When the McMellons learned their home of 11 years was still standing, they expressed their gratitude, knowing a pink house is better than none at all. Thank goodness they got that stuff to drop them from the skies. I'm relieved and just hope for the best for the rest of the neighborhood. A neighborhood now in good hands, but not yet in the clear. As this fire continues to burn, there are at least four communities under mandatory evacuation orders, so many residents are not sleeping in their own homes tonight. Meantime, investigators are hoping to talk to the driver of a lifted white Jeep Wrangler, similar to the one in this picture. No top, no front doors, and a black roll bar that was seen fleeing the area where the fire started. Reporting live near Grass Valley, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. And Tom, do we have any word on containment for the fire at this point tonight? Brian, it is 0% contained, and that is not going to change tonight. Uh, the planes that have been flying over and have been so productive in terms of slowing this fire are now grounded until tomorrow morning. All right, Tom Miller reporting. We know it's been slowing down because remember how fast it was exploding in size. At least it has slowed a little bit.